So what you're going to need for creating um, your own clip-in extensions is hair, obviously. Now this hair I got from Sally's Beauty Supply and it is their Sassy Collection hair, human hair, in 8 inches. There's two different kinds you can buy from Sassy. It's their 8 inch hair or their 18 inch hair. If you want volume, get the 8 inch hair. If you want um, length, get the 18 inch hair. I chose the 8 inch hair because obviously I don't want length, I just want volume. Um, and they sell them in all different colors. If you're blonde, you can find them, you know, for blonde. If you're redhead, you can find it for a redhead. If you're brunette, they have different, you know, tones of brunettes. So you can go there and find the color you need. And it's human hair, so you know it can be dyed. You're also going to need thread. Make sure that the thread matches your hair color or it's similar to your hair color. So this one I got from Sally's. It cost me 99 cents and this is a black thread. My hair isn't black, you know, it's brunette. But you see, you can't even see it in the clip, you know? So just get something that is similar to your hair color. So if you're blonde, get blonde thread. If you're um, redhead, get like a reddish auburn, you know, um, thread. You're also going to need clips to make the clip-in extensions and a needle to sew the thread in. That's all you're gonna really need. And also, a scissor. So the first thing you're gonna do is get your hair in a clip. Okay, so the best um, extensions to make are the extensions that are just the length of one clip because those are the ones that um, hide the best and they're the easiest to get into your hair. So what you do is just grab your clip, put it against the track, of your um, extension and just measure it. You just want it to be the length of one clip. So I'm going to stop right here. I don't know if you can see it. Get a scissor and cut that. And then make sure that it fits. Yep, it's perfect. Okay. You want to make sure that it's secure onto the needle, otherwise when you're in the middle of sewing, it's going to come off and it's really just going to mess up. You want to get a good amount of thread out. Even if you grab too much, it's fine. It's better to be safe than sorry and find out, you know, at the end of it, you don't have enough, you know, thread. When you sew your clip onto your track, you want to make sure that the part where the combs are facing is facing you. You want the part, like the outside, to be facing the tracks. The reason why is if you go and you sew the part where the combs are popping out toward the track, you're not going to be able to clip that into your hair. You see, pretend my hair was here. You can't clip that into your hair. You need this part with the combs pointing out to be the part that's facing your hair because then it can clip in and then you can do that. So again, make sure that the combs are facing you. So put your clip against your track, grab your needle and thread, and right here where these little loops are, you see these little loops? You're just gonna be sewing in and out of those loops, okay? So. There you go. I sewed all the um, thread through that I had and now I have these two little parts that are sticking out like that and those are from the strings that it's the end of the string. So what you can either do is if you're like really really gifted you can tie those into a knot but you know most people their hands can't even do that. It's 
too small. So what you can do is you can either leave it like that, which is what I usually like to do, because it's not like people can really see that through my hair. But um, if you want, you could just snap it off. Just don't snap too close. Just half of it off. Should get a better scissor. Done and you can see I don't know if you can see this I'll put it like right there I did a really bad job sewing you know I'm not no expert at sewing I never sew it's like the only time I ever sewed in my life is to make my extensions so you can do a really really bad job but as long as you're using a thread that is similar to your hair color people aren't going to notice that at all seriously they're not going to notice it so if you're blonde use a blonde color thread if you're brunette use a brunette you know color thread a black a brown redhead used you know like a redder tone auburn um, thread so just go with whatever your hair color is and when you're done sewing you might notice that you have some pieces of hair that got caught up in the thread and you can leave them either like that if you want to or you can just trim them off it's not gonna affect anything just trim it all off So that is it for making your clip-in extensions. It is really, really easy, like I said. And the best extensions to make are the ones that are the length of just one clip because those are the ones that, that are the easiest to blend in with your hair and the ones that don't show as much. You know, if there's any chance of it showing, it's probably not going to show with one of these. <laughs> okay, and then after that... The second best to make are the ones that are the length of the back of your head because these are the ones that give you the most volume and also the most length. So you just measure the back of your head and then you want to make sure that you put a clip at both ends of the extension and also in the middle of the extension. You can go ahead and you can grab like say about that much, like three inches of hair. You can go ahead and grab like three inches of hair and just sew one um, clip onto it. But if you do that, what's going to happen is the parts that don't have the clip against it, they're going to be flapping out through your hair. I mean, people are going to be able to see, you know, it's an extension because the part that doesn't have the clip is just going to be lying there and like poking out. So if you're going to go and cut like three inches of hair, you're going to want to make sure that you always put a clip at each end of the extension. So keep that in mind. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you find this helpful. You know, um, it, it really, really is helpful and rather than just spending hundreds of dollars to for clipping extensions that are probably the same way like this, you know. Except, yeah, maybe they don't have, like, yarn sticking out like that. But big deal. I'd rather save about $150 than pay $150. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and take care. Bye. If you have questions, please please let me know. I'm trying to help you guys out and then sometimes when I'm talking, I know it's kind of hard to understand what the heck I'm even trying to say. So if you have questions, just, you know, comment and I'll try my best to answer them. And if you know any of the answers to the questions people have, let them know too, you know. So anyways, take care and bye.